Well, hello, royal subjects. This is the Unboxing Princess, and here today I have Miss Briar Beauty here to introduce her friend, Miss Cedar Wood, from the Spring on Sprung collection. Now, Miss Cedar Wood is the daughter of Pinocchio, and of course, you can watch the Spring on Sprung collection on Netflix. And sh this doll is recommended for ages six and above due to the smaller parts. If you rotate the box on the back, it has a little blurb about why they call it the Spring Unsprung and also about what was going through Miss Lizzie Hart's mind as she was designing the fashion um, for Miss Cedarwood and what went through the inspiration for the different pieces of her outfit. So definitely want to take a look at those fashions for us. Now, this doll does have a ring for you in it as well, so let's go ahead and get it unboxed. We'll take a look at the ring and a look at the fashions as well. So, just little tabs for us. Go ahead and slip those out. There we go. And it opens right up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, We'll kind of just stand this up a little bit. Now the plastic piece is actually attached with little tabs on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and get the tool and cut the tape for us so that we can actually get the cardboard piece open. There we go. Just slide those out. And I got distracted by the, the stand for us. <laughs> okay. So let's just pull those out for us. And then there's that ring. It is relatively small as well. I've, I've come to notice a trend that anything that is for you, whenever it says a ring for you or a bracelet for you or anything like that for you, it's for smaller girls who have smaller digits or smaller wrists. So definitely keep that in mind as adults are getting these things. <laughs> um, that it really doesn't even fit my pinky that well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and work on like the fasteners and the different plastic pieces on the front that can be snipped just to kind of release legs and those sort of things for us. Okay, I'm going to work on getting the little blurb out for us. This is for Cedar. Of course, as you open it, it gives a little bit about what Cedar was doing on this day, what she's interested in as part of the Spring Fairest, and it also does have that map on the other side. Um, I'm not going to read that for you. I'm just going to kind of set that off to the side a little bit and leave it for y'all. It's a little surprise for you as you come into the box. we got those plastic fasteners yet again, so I'm just going to go ahead and snip, snip, snip them away. Hmm, one at a time. Snip, 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 snip. <laughs> oh, she had quite a lot. There we go. Just slide her hair out of the clear rubber bands, and there we go. Ta da! <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of focus on the different pieces. Now, she does have the plastic up there. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I know I said I wouldn't, but hey, you live and you learn, right? There we go. Now, I really like her hair. The ends are kind of curled a little bit more because she does have a little bit curly hair. I love the shoes, the design of the shoes so far. We'll focus on that a little bit later. I like how the dress is kind of high in the front and low in the back. That's definitely a fashion that's in, or at least it was last year. Um... I like the fact that actually on the design of the doll, like on the actual doll itself, around like the edge of her face, her cheeks, down her neck, um, as well as like on her arms and her hands, um, she has like the wooden design kind of factored in because of course she is the daughter of Pinocchio. So that's definitely a factor to take into consideration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and take these shoes off. Look at that. Oh. I love how it has like the little pom-pom flowers going all the way up. Um, I want to see if that design goes up from her foot. Yeah. There we go. And I can bet you underneath those like leggings, 
or pants, I guess. Um, I can bet you that there's actually a wooden design underneath there as well because it definitely seems like they're into detail as far as how that goes. So I definitely like that. Not the easiest thing because of the design of the shoe to get her foot all the way down into the shoe. I definitely had a little bit of difficulty or a lot of bit of difficulty trying to get that back on. So I had to maneuver it and twist it and turn it and I eventually got it, slowly but surely. <laughs> there we go. Okay, kind of maneuvering that and positioning her a little bit. Moving her around for us and posing her. <laughs> okay, so let's focus on the stand. After trying to get the tape off, I decided I'm just going to pull it. And then I, by the time I stretched it and I couldn't get it off, I just decided to snip the rest of it. So go ahead and stretch that back out a little bit and then dump everything out. So I'm going to put the stand together. Now the little slidey piece isn't staying up, so that's something that she will have to actually hold up based on her height. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the brush to brush her hair a little bit. Go. I like how when I brush their hair, it makes it fluffier because if you watch the the series, their hair is like voluminous and it's like all over the place. And I I really kind of like that. I wish I myself had like really thick hair. And I know if anyone's watching this and they have thick hair, they're like, oh my goodness, but it's such a hassle. Yeah, I understand, but I'd rather be that than you know the alternative. <laughs> so I uh, go ahead and fluff that up a little bit because I definitely like that portion of their, their design factor, I guess is how I can say that, how I can word that. But go ahead and I'm going to have to maneuver that up a little bit, up the stand because of how tall she is. I couldn't necessarily, the way that it fell down, I couldn't get it on there. So just snap that in and then that'll kind of, I'll adjust that based on her height kind of pose her and make sure that she looks all cute. There we go. <laughs> She's definitely a lot adorable. Not even a little, just a lot adorable, especially like the design and she has the little neck piece. So I, I really like like the colors in her hair and those sort of things. Her purse is really cute as well. It's kind of like a little picnic basket design. Okay, so I tell you what, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below. If you want to join the kingdom, there's a subscribe button down there as well. In one of our upcoming videos, we're going to actually unbox Miss Kitty Cheshire from the Spring Unsprung collection. So we're really looking forward to that as well. So um, definitely want to look forward to that. One moment. I actually just noticed something. Her lips... Um, there's an outline of a heart, like there's a, it's actually kind of like a heart on her lips, which I think is really ironic because Lizzie Hearts is actually the one that designed all of their outfits. So I think that's a nice little touch. I just wanted to mention it. <laughs> See you next time.